people living in the ruin of the old world. Only one thing fighting for order in the chaos. The men and women of the Hall of Justice. You know, when I was about 17, I was working in a uh, pizza joint in in Wellington, New Zealand, and the manager of that was a big Judge Dredd fan, and he kind of turned me on to it. Uh, and um, you know, and I, I was reading it uh, for years. So when the opportunity arose to uh, to become part of this, you know, I had very strong views about how it should be done and how it shouldn't be done. Uh, and uh, I met with the writers, the, uh, I went with the writer Alex Garland and director Pete Travis and uh, Andrew and Alon and they said, look, you do realise that Dredd keeps his helmet on the entire film? And I said, I wouldn't be having this meeting if he didn't. So, you know, we were all on the same page right from the get-go. You know, as a long-term fan of the comic, I wanted, to be, wanted it to be recognisably Dredd. And if you've ever read a Judge Dredd comic, then, you know, that... Uh, that scowl, that perpetual scowl that is, uh, is, that is on his face never really leaves. So, uh, you know, this is my interpretation of what that would be. It's certainly a challenge, you know. Uh, the eyes are uh, a huge tool for an actor and uh, to take those away then you have to start to think about what else you have available um, to help tell the story. Uh, and so, you know, elements like the voice becomes very important, um, you know, your body language, how you move, um, and it really is amazing how much comes through uh, with, without the eyes. In the comics, the voice was described as a, a saw cutting through bone, uh, so the voice is kind of my interpretation of, uh, of what that is. Well, you got one now. And now, it, you know, we're at the point where, you know, it's not my film anymore. I'm handing it over to an audience. It's your film. It's your film, and uh, and that's cool too. That's uh, it's like you know, sort of nurtured this little baby along for a couple of years, and and now this little birdie's flying.